hello and welcome to intermediate yoga poses in a yoga flow way and with intention to raise our vibrations. So thanks for being here and I'm going to ask you to take a comfortable seat on your yoga mat and place our hands together in front of the heart. And if there is another intention that you'd like to bring in to raising your vibrations or maybe you'd like to take your vibrations that you're stirring up and send them out to somebody or something or a purpose or an idea i like to do that and um with that we are going to sing a song and it goes om mani padme hum and it's a stirring of the heart center. It's, a, it's an offering out um, of intentions. It, I also like to think of it as a, as a turning of all of our energy centers because we have our palms together by the heart and then opening our palms into a lotus flower. And then we can scoop up the heart center energies and stirring our chakras at the same time and offering out and cleaning and clearing at the same time and just by kind of turning our energy levels that's residing inside and outside of the body it's like our vibrations is already starting to change and vibrate on a little higher mode and you can keep your hands going like this and then we're gonna bring in the Om Mani Padme Hum song. And we're gonna sing it three times and it has four lines to it. So we'll just keep it going while we are centering and tapping within and finding a vibration that works for us for this practice. Take a nice big inhale. Om Mani Padme Hum 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 One ohm, take a nice big inhale. Oh. And exhale, release the hands. Let's come onto all fours, please. Hands and knees and tilts, tuck the toes under. Spread the fingers and take the wrist creases aligned with the front of the yoga mat and up the spine up to the sky and exhale, hollow the upper back, middle back and exhale and again inhale and exhale two more times, inhale and exhale and gently coming back to neutral. Take your right arm out and your left leg in the back. Take your elbow to your knee, arch your spine, and bring it back out. Inhale and exhale. Kind of turning our layers from the center all the way out to the outer layers. And two more, elbow to knee, exhale. Bring it back out, one more emptying the air and extending back out hands and knees back to the sit mat left arm out right arm, leg out and take your elbow to your knee getting some nice good movement in towards the hips shoulders 
and to the whole spine. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale, moving some energies in the core. We'll do one more, knee to elbow, and take it all the way back out, hands, underneath your shoulders and from here spread your fingers and come into downward facing dog Adu Mukha Svanasana pedaling in towards the back of the legs into the shoulders come up high onto your toes bend your knees take your heels over towards the right side stretching into the left side of the waist take your heels over towards the left side bend your knees Stretching towards the right side of the waist and then gently come all the way up and walk your feet over towards your hands. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. And from here, come all the way down onto your back, please. We're going to just simply come all the way down onto the back, arranging anything that you need to arrange. And then from here, Take your lower back and back and suck it in towards the floor and expand the back body and hug the front body together. It's like that new space that we created in the beginning. By just hugging into the core, we'll take that new space and plug it all the way in. Bottom ribs towards the top of the hips. From here, take your knees in towards the chest and right now your sacrum is on the floor and then might be a nice lift in towards the lower back. Hold your knee in towards your chest, extend your left leg, and extend your right leg up towards the sky. You can have your hands around your hamstrings. Just get a nice big elongation and clearing the whole back side of the leg. Walking your hands up towards your knee, roll your shoulder blades off the back, and take your head towards your knee, spread your toes, expand the back body, hug all layers of the front in towards the midline. One more breath, and then from here, take your arms on each side of your leg, and we're just holding in here, just kind of making sure that we're blasting energy, skin to muscle, muscle to bone, and then back out again. Keep yourself lifted here, take your arms to the inside, take your right leg out to the side. Holding it, shoulder blades off of your yoga mat. Using your core, using your midline. Take your leg back up, hands around your foot and give yourself one more stretch. And then bend your knee back in and switch to the second side. Take your left knee in towards the chest. And extend your left leg up towards the sky. Hands around the hamstrings. Press your hands and your hamstrings into each other. Settle in towards the hips, in towards the lower back, and from there extend out the legs, out the back of the legs, out the ankles, out the toes. Roll your shoulder blades off of the backside, off of the floor, off of the yoga mat, and use your core to lift yourself up, raising the vibrations by hugging into the midline to blast layers out that does not um, belong. Sometimes layers of energy is hovering around us and then by practicing some yoga we just have a really good chance of blasting them out and away and feeling some higher vibrations after our yoga practice spread your toes take your hands on each side and holding it right here one more breath and then take your hands to the inside send your left leg out to the side Give yourself a nice big supta parandustasana to the side, kind of in a levitated form with our core helping us. Take your leg back up, hands around the foot, head to knee. And bend your knee back into the chest and send it all the way out. Take your arms over your head, squeeze your arms around your ears, hook your thumbs, legs, and arms opposite direction, clearing the midline. Hands down to the sides, bring your knees into the chest and roll yourself all the way up. Cross at the ankles, take downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From here, come up onto the toes and do three nice big waves all the way over to plank. 
So from down dog, up on the toes, to roll through each and every vertebrae, and taking it all the way back. Strong hands, strong arms, strong intentions of staying nice and clear. This time, roll it all the way over the toes and sink the hips almost to the floor for upward facing dog. And exhale, release, roll it all the way back. Down dog, sink the heels down by plugging the midline together. Two more times. Inhale and exhale, roll it back. And one more time, rolling it over to plank, over the toes, and up dog. And exhale, bring it all the way back to downward facing dog. Nice. Take your feet over to the hands, please. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Press the feet. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Palms together, hands to the heart. Release the hands. Bend your knees, chair pose. Feet can be hip width apart or feet can be together. Take the arms forward, plug the upper arm bones in and take your arms up for chair pose, Utkatasana. From here, take your hands to the back, plug everything into the midline, come up onto the toes and exhale. Come into Utkatasana chair pose and exhale. And vacuum suck your belly in, lift the lower belly in and up. And exhale, take it back up to chair pose. One more time, up on the toes, hands to the back. And exhale, Utkatasana chair pose. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, place your hands. Take your step or your hop over to your plank pose, lower to the floor. Inhale to cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder. And exhale, release, bring it back down, push back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, spread the fingers, claw the fingertips. Clear and clean the energy that's coming in the palms, nice and fresh through the arms, through the heart center, the whole torso, waist, down to the hips, down into the legs and the feet. Take a breath into that new energy that just washed our body. Bring your feet all the way together. Take your right heel up to the horizon. Use your core to hold upper and lower body together here. Take your knee to the nose, come into plank, take it back out. Take your knee to the third eye, take it back out. This time, step your foot between the hands, high crescent lunge, arms forward, pull the upper arm bones in. Take your arms up towards the sky and hook your thumbs up here. Lift up nice and tall from your hips to your shoulders, all the way to your wrists. And exhale, release hands to the floor. Sweep your right leg up to the sky, one leg a dog. Come forward to plank, lower chaturanga, inhale, up dog or cobra, take your pick, exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, anchor into your hands, into your shoulders, into your hips, and take a breath and spread the energy evenly from those places. And take your left foot up to the horizon, and maybe further up, if your shoulders and your hips support it. Take your left knee to your nose, arch your spine, take it back out, knee to third eye, take it back out. Take your foot between your hands, arms forward, pull your upper arm bones in and bring your arms up to the sky. Hook your thumbs, different direction, high crescent lunge, sinking nice and deep from your hips to your shoulders, Stretch out the whole upper body. Lots of space for the whole belly organs, side of the waist. Exhale, release, hands to the floor. Left leg up to the sky. Come forward to plank pose, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. 
Ado Mukha Svanasana. Let's give ourselves another three breaths here to anchor into all the layers that we have moved and turned and churned. A few more breaths. From here, come down onto your knees. Bring your palms together. Flush your forearms down and take it up into half down dog or dolphin pose. Moving into shoulders. Come up on your toes. Maybe sink your heels down. See what works the best for your um, calves, for your shoulders. Another breath right here. And take it back down onto the knees. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, come forward. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Hands to hips, elbows to sky, come to standing. Release the hands, bend your knees, open feet wide to Prasarta Padottanasana. Take your arms out to the side, hands behind. Tuck your toes slightly in, heels slightly out for more axis in towards the hamstrings. Hinge and fold and for more axis into plugging the femurs in towards the hips. Folding forward, top of the head towards the floor. Take your arms maybe up towards the sky. Tapping into our shoulders. Breathing. And gently release the hands. Hands to floor. Give yourself a pause to let your shoulders settle. Take your right foot out and bend your right knee. Take your hands out to the side for two hands supported side angle. Wrap your right outer hip underneath you. Right forearm to the right thigh. So with left arm up, extended side angle. Parsva Konasana variation. Give yourself another breath right here. And then we'll pull it from the feet in towards the center and lift it up and back to reclining warrior. Take your fingers to the floor. Extended side angle. Parsva Konasana. Left arm up and over. And exhale, take it all the way back up again. Summon all the energy to come up and back, reclining. Arms to the side, hands behind, interlace. Roll the shoulders up and back and hinge and fold forward inside the right leg. Hands up to the sky. And gently release the hands to the sacrum and hands to the floor. And then from here, we'll take the right arm underneath the right leg and find your left hand. And come into bound Parasava Kunasana. Take the gaze up towards the sky. Anchor into the feet. Use all the new vibrant energy that is coming into our layers to stay anchored and centered. Release the gaze. Take the hands back down and we're gonna come into feet wide apart from here. Turn your toes, take your hands forward and pull your hips and your heels so that they are in a nice um, alignment. Hips and heels are stacked, bend into the knees. Another breath right here. Hands by the shoulders, turn your left toes out so your left heel comes in towards the center of your right foot. Bend your front knee, take your hands out to the side. Two hands supported side angle. Bending your front knee nice and deep, hugging in towards the midline, breathing, softening. And from here, take your left forearm to your left thigh, sweep your right arm up to the sky. Take the gaze up to the thumb. Sink nice and deep in the front knee and tone 
in towards the right adductors. From here, pull from your feet into the midline, into the core, and sail back into reclining warrior. Picking the bicep up towards the ear and reclining back. Take all that new space on the left side and bring that over into extended side angle, Parasva Konasana, knee over ankle. Take the gaze up and underneath your right upper arm. Give yourself a breath right here. Press into the feet. Take your right arm back. Come back up into warrior two. Arms out to the side. And exhale and inhale. Take your hands behind, interlace. Take your different clasp here. Roll the shoulders up and back. Hinge and fold inside your left leg. Adductors, your hands can come up towards the sky. Remember to have changed your clasp up here to get a little different variant for the shoulders and for the mind. Breathing, softening. From here, take your left shoulder behind your left knee, separate the hands, one up, one down, extended side angle, Parasva Konasana. And one more breath. Exhale, release hands to the floor. Take your left arm inside your left leg. Wrap your left arm underneath for bound Parasva Konasana. Take the gaze up towards the sky. And release the gaze to the floor, hands to the floor. Come back into our feet wide apart. Prasarta Pada Tanasana. Take that opening that we just created and see how it feels to come into Prasarita Padottanasana A with the heel of the hands aligned with the heel of the feet and with the top of the head towards the floor. That's Kali. Hi, Kali. Claw the fingertips, pull the inner edges of the feet towards the midline. Breathing, softening. Lengthening the spine, lengthening the back of the legs. And slowly release, come back up. Take yourself into your down dog. Spread the fingers, pedal into the heels. And come down onto the knees, please. Wrist creases align with the yoga mat. Spread your fingers, take your right leg up and give it a few lifts up here with your foot up towards the sky and it's like we're after all the external rotation we get to do a little bit more plugging into the midline and taking all that space we created and plugging it in a little bit more towards the center extend your right leg and exhale bring back down take your left leg up and give it a couple of lifts up and down to kind of send a message to the hamstrings and to the glutes to activate kind of flipping the switches on a little bit and then hold your leg in a nice even 90 degree angle ish and stretch your left leg out spread the toes flip the belly in and exhale knees back down take downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana and gently from here Step your right foot between your hands, warrior one, arms forward and up, palms together, bend your front knee, pull your right hip back, your left hip forward, and exhale, hands to the floor, step it up into warrior three with your left leg up towards the horizon, heel up, toes down, or simply open the toes and and just activate all the way out towards the pinky and towards the fourth toe. Bend into your knee so your hip and your ankle is stacked above and below each other. Arc your spine, hands to the hips. Take your hands behind you, interlace, gaze forward. Find a nice spot where you can hold your balance and feeling totally plugged into all layers. And exhale, release hands down, step it back, down dog, come forward to plank, take your vinyasa, inhale, 
Urdhva Mukha. And exhale, Adho Mukha. Step your left foot between your hands. Turn your right foot flat, warrior one. Palms forward and up and palms together if available. Take your left hip, plug it back and your right hip forward. Use and wrap all the muscles of the front body in towards the front of the spine. Palms together. Bending the front knee and exhale, release hands to the floor. Step up into warrior three with your right leg up and with your left knee slightly bent so that you have your hip and your ankle stacked above and below each other. Bring your floating ribs towards the top of the hips, hands to hips, maybe hands behind, maybe a different clasp back here, arms up and back. You can find a spot forward where you can gaze and stand and soar and lift. And exhale, release hands to the floor, step it all the way back. Down dog, take your vinyasa, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, and exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From here, spread your fingers, find all four corners of your hands, and then walk your feet forward to the hands. And hands and feet on the floor which means a lot of plugging into the midline. It means a lot of long side body. It means a lot of staying plugged in from your skin to your muscle, from the muscle to the bone, and then extending organically out and away from that. And that's a great way to shed layers that does not serve us, that sometimes brings us down and by also raising energies and vibrations, I call it hands to the hips, elbows to sky, and come all the way up to standing and release the hands. And we have handstands. If you'd like to, you might take your down dog, you might take a handstand. So we're going to find a wall or you might handstand in the middle of the room. Take your favorite pick. Spreading the fingers, coming into your down dog and then coming up on the toes, bend the knees slightly, come forward, plug the upper arm bones in into the shoulders and step one leg forward and kick your favorite leg up towards the sky. And play around with your balance, with your handstand. Plug the bottom ribs in towards the hips and have a good time with your balance. And give it a try with your second side too. And maybe one more, one more for good measure on your second side. Play with your right side, your left side and see where your balance is at. And then come to child's pose, big toes together, knees apart. Take your hands to the sides and let your palms open up towards the sky. Mm. And rest your wrists, rest your fingers, rest your shoulders. One more breath. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Walk your feet over to your hands. Take your hands underneath your feet. Stretch into your wrists, Hasta Padasana. Bend your elbows out to the side. slowly release 
and then we'll take one more inversion. We'll take our forearm balance um, with our palms together for kind of just a little bit less pressure on the shoulders and more in towards the core, which will just um, take us into just kind of summoning everything we have in towards the front of the spine. So let's do that. Take your palms together, elbows and, and shoulders are the same length width apart. So stacked above and below each other. Come up into your down dog with your forearms on the floor. So half down dog, and then you can walk your feet forward and come up into maybe your L shape and we'll summoning in what we did in the very beginning where we plugged the ribs in towards the top of the hips and find our forearm balance, lifting the lower belly in and up. Breathing, raising our vibrations upside down by shaking it out a little bit. And then exhale, take it back down and come and take a pause. And then we'll take a kick up on our least dominant side because most likely your most dominant side was like, hey, I'll kick up. So let's take the one that doesn't always volunteer and we'll see how that feels. So we even our sides up. Plugging your upper arm bones in, take your non-volunteer leg up and see how it's doing and encouraging it to also be the leader. <laughs> Feet together, spread your toes, squeeze the muscles into the midline. Coming down the same way you came up and gently coming back into your downward facing dog by grabbing the yoga mat and giving our wrists and our shoulders a little bit of a different turn. Bending into the knees, lifting the sacrum, sending your heels over to the right side, stretching into the left side of the waist. Come up and over, sending your heels to the left side and coming into your tiger dog grabbing your yoga mat, sending the heels down, looking forward towards your hands. And then slowly coming in to downward facing dog. Step your right foot between your hands, come into Parasvottanasana, pyramid pose, with your hands forward, long spine, pull your right hip back. You can take your thumb into your hip crease. Do what you um, do to feel good into the hips before you fold forward here. Give yourself a few breaths. Sinking both heels down, sinking all four corners of our feet down, micro bending in towards the knees by pulling energies in through the feet. Take your left hand outside your right shin ankle. I like to take my shoulder straight down into the wrist. Take your hand to your hip, Press into the mounts of the big toes and maybe raising your right arm up, ringing out the spine, neutralizing the spine after our different bends and preparing it for some back bend as well. Kind of untying any, any knots, making more space, more vibrancy. Exhale, release, hands down. Step it forward, switch sides. Right foot back, left foot forward. Turn your right foot slightly out. Take your left hand in towards your left hip. Pull your left hip back and then hinge and fold forward. Pull your lower belly in, heels down. Coming into the same shape that we did in the very beginning of class. Plugging everything in kind of pulsating, endlessly pulsating the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons, the cells, purifying them. Take your right hand outside your left shin ankle. Take your left hand to your hip. Your gaze can stay down 
Or you can take your left arm up and your gaze up towards your thumb. Shoulder and wrist on the right side are stacked above and below each other. Push in towards the four corners of the feet. Clear and clean the spine, twisting the opposite direction. And exhale, release, gaze down. Excellent, step back, downward facing dog. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees, arc your spine. Exhale, come into a cat version. And exhale, bring it all the way up. And exhale, come to neutral spine. Take your right arm and your right leg out behind you. Take your right arm inside of your right foot. Press your hand and your foot into each other and claw your left fingertips. See if you can keep that right thigh down and hips folding towards the front. We're aiming for the front, the mat, and stretching in towards your quad, in towards your shoulder, and exhale, release. Nice, switch to the second side. Take your left arm up and your left leg out behind you. I like to tuck my toes under in the back. Find space. Take your left hand inside your left foot. Press your hand and your foot into each other. Claw the right fingertips, the knuckles down. And see if you can square your hips and your shoulders over to the front. Bring it all the way in. One more breath and exhale. Take it back down. Take it down with facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. And from here, we're gonna come on to our backs. And you can roll down or you can come down vertebrae by vertebrae, however you'd like to come down. And bending our knees in. Take the hands around the yoga mat and pressing the feet down. You're just gonna come up like in a nice angle from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. Just kind of stay here for a moment, just nice and um, easy, nice and plugged in. Plug in the muscles around the hips, around the legs, around the torso, and then exhale, bring it back down. And then we'll do that again. Inhale, take it all the way up. This time, take the hands underneath you, interlace them, roll the shoulders open, clear in towards the inner shoulders. Press the inner edges of the feet to the midline and lift your hips up and take that bend in towards the upper back. You might even walk your feet in slightly, come up on the toes and lift maybe a little bit further up in towards the back. And then maybe you'll send your heels down. And then exhale, release the hands and roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice. The spine should feel nice and supple by now. So maybe it's craving an Urdhva Dhammarasana. Maybe it wants to do what we just did. Maybe you have a block or a book or something to put underneath your sacrum for a supported back bend. So take what works for you at this point. Take your arms over the head and long side of the waist from the hips to the shoulders. Maybe this feels like a great place to be. Maybe this, maybe this is it. And then from here, we're gonna take the sacrum down and do a little arch into the back and do toning in towards the belly. Keep that, take the hands by the shoulders, adjust your legs if you need to, knees straight up. I like to have the pinkies turned out and the index finger turned straight up in the same direction as the top of my head. Pull the lower back, Lower belly and the lower back is hugging in together. Bring your top of the head towards the floor. Come up on the toes, walk your hands in. Press your ball of the foot down, claw the fingertips, knuckles and lift up into Urdhva Dhanurasana. Moving back and forth, saturating every part of your Urdhva Dhanurasana with your breath, you might sink your heels down, breathing, saturating your back bend, 
with layers of breath, layers of new updated energy. And exhale, coming back down, tucking your head, chin in, and come all the way down, hands to the side. And then from here, we're gonna do that again. And you could play around with the legs if you wanted to, bring one knee in, one leg up, one second side, and we'll see how it goes. This really is um, from what we did in the very beginning of class. So we'll see how it goes, we'll see how we feel about it. Take your arms up and over, long side body, hands by the shoulders, turn your pinky slightly out, bring your feet flat on the floor, sacrum down, tone the belly into the front of the spine, come up to the top of the head, plug the upper arm bones in. I like to come up on my toes and walk my hands a little bit closer into my shoulders. Come all the way up, Urdhva Dhanurasana. You can walk your feet a little closer in and take your right knee in and bring it up towards the sky. Take your right knee back in and switch to the second side. Knee in, leg up and exhale, bring it back in and bring it back down and exhale. Feet down, one more breath, and tuck your chin, bring it back down. Take your hands to the side, feet flat. Let your back just be in a neutral shape and form. Let your sacrum be down. Take your hands on the top of your thighs and bring your hands into your thighs and push your thighs away, creating some nice space for the lumbar spine, for the lumbar muscles. Breathing, softening. And release. Take your feet all the way together. Right ankle over your left knee. Take your hands around your left hamstring and come into a upward facing pigeon form, supine pigeon. You can spread your toes, you can be active. You can press your sacrum down. You can tone into the belly. You can take your hands around your shin and getting a little bit more untying of knots, a little bit more vibration coming in and through the layers where the tension is. We open up those layers and inhale new vibrancy. and release and switch to the second side. Left ankle over the right knee. Take your hands around your right hamstring. The whole group of hamstrings, it's a nice big loving hold. And just letting the leg kind of relax into the hands. Sacrum is down, belly is toning into the front of the spine. Take your hands around maybe your shin on your right side. Breathing into any of the layers that needs more oxygen. And exhale, release. Take your feet wide on the yoga mat. Take your arms out to the side and do side to side windshield wiper. And then gently come back up with your knees in front, feet together. Take your right leg over your left, hook your ankle and come into eagle legs or Garandasana legs in a supine form. Then take your right arm underneath your left and come into Garandasana arms or eagle arms. From here, we're gonna tip the left heel down and then bring ourselves up with the shoulder blades and have elbows and the right knee have a little, have a little meeting. We're having a little meeting to plug our body back into the midline, helping to stabilize, helping to bring more vibrancy to all levels by staying in our center and moving from our center. And 
Let's stay here. And keep it going. A few more. And the last, last one. We'll hold it up here and just hold it. And hold the shoulder blades off of the floor. And then exhale, release. And take your arms out, legs out. Switch to the second side with your left knee over the right. Hook your left ankle or your left toes underneath your right and come into eagle legs or any version that works for you, of course, always. Left arm under your right, palms together and sink your right heel down and bring it up and meet with your elbows to the left knee. Exhaling on the way up and inhaling on the way down. We'll keep it going. A few more. Stay with me. One more here. And we'll hold it all the way up. Elbows to knees. Holding it in. Making some great memories in towards our abdominals. Bringing health and vitality to the organs. To the midline. To our center. And exhale. Release. Bring it back down. Hook your thumbs. Feet out in front. Hmm. And maybe stretch your right side, your left side. Feeling some new layers. Feeling some old stagnant energy that has left. And just feeling kind of nice and light. So let's come and have a comfortable seat. And we'll take it back to where we started with our Om Mani Padme Hum. Our beautiful chant that turns the layers and cleans and clears and turns the heart center and offers out any gifts, anything that we have to offer out that is valuable for somebody else to pick up in the ether around us. Palms together. Om Mani Padme Hum, if you'd like to join me. You can start by opening your palms outward and then scooping energy and it's like a little bath by just helping our um, energy around us to get put into motion getting updated so there's no stagnancy and then after we have a nice new layer of energy and vibrancy for us and we'll take the chant with us um, for three verses. Take a nice inhale. O Mane Padme Hum, 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 O moment to sit together, updating all the layers into a new vibrancy with the help of just letting all the poses sink into the places where they needed to go in our body, rearranging Blasting a little light into corners in our bodies that needed some extra high frequency.
you're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like to feel like you updated your layers. Sometimes it feels like a good time to sit for a very long time after yoga practice. It's easier to sit after you move some energy around. But you might lay down onto your back for Shavasana and update that way. I'd like to thank you for joining me for this Raise Your Vibration Intermediate Flow of Yoga. And I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I do. And um, thank you for all the input and thank you for comments and thank you for messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.